Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. This video is a series of demo video around the event-driven auto-scaling on Kubernetes. And we're going to talk a little bit about and showcase the first use case of how to build your event-driven auto-scaling application on Kubernetes using Horizon 2 pod auto-scaler with the Kafka cluster. Let's get started. Let's take a one step back, try to understand why you need to think about auto scaling architecture on Kubernetes and how it works. So as you can see, there, uh, you can have a multiple microservices application on Kubernetes. You can deploy the application with your standard Kubernetes resources, such as deployment. As you can see, you have an application, uh, for example, inventory with the Quarkus application and a catalog and the Quarkus application and a Node.js and and a card application with a Spring Boot and Python and whatever you need. And then in order to auto-scale your application, Kubernetes enables developer and operation team auto-scale your application based on Horizon 2 Pod Auto-Scaler, aka HPA, which is really nice as you can see this diagram. And HPA will auto-scale your standard Kubernetes de deployment based on Resources utilization, for example, CPU, memory. So what I'm going to do today is showcase the first use case, how to design and build your application on the scaling. That application consume a lot of messaging event from Kafka topic. You can see in the right side, the application will be deployed as a standard Kubernetes deployment. And then we're going to use a Quarkus application at this moment. The application will be scaled based on HPA metrics from CPU memory utilization. And this use case is actually not event-driven or scaling. So this is based on CPU memory resource utilization. Let's get into the demo, how it works. Okay, here's my Apka HPA project in OpenShift 4.10. I actually already installed AMKS3, which allows me to install Kafka cluster with the Jukeeper, uh, something like that. So it's a Kafka HPA namespace in the project. And then there's a only Kafka installation. As you can see, the Jukeeper is three app, uh, replication already installed. So there are another Kafka cluster three application also installed in this uh, project. So here's my Quarkus application. I'm going to use the Razor 281 Quarkus version. And I just implement simple Summerable process your event messaging from Kafka topic. So this is a really interesting part for if you are a Java developer have some experience of reactive application programming. The Quarkus allows developer to have reactive programming with the a standard method as long as you add incoming annotation or outgoing annotation to specify the Kafka topic name. So in this example, we're gonna use my topic from Kafka cluster. And then here's how to define the incoming Kafka topic configuration in my application property file. Workers actually use small right Kafka engine uh, to have incoming uh, Kafka capabilities. And then you can see I got to define bootstrap server of Kafka, which is a service name I already deployed in my project. And then here's the deserializer uh, option also there. And then a few configuration for OpenShift deployment, the so Kubernetes deploy, which is uh, true. And then target environment OpenShift. If you want to deploy just vanilla Kubernetes, you can set with the value Kubernetes. And then we're going to use self certificate for accessing TLS termination on OpenShift cluster by default. That's why I'm going to use a self trust which is also true. And we're going to build this application as a container with the Docker file. So this is a full configuration which allows me uh, to build this application as a container. In the end, I'm going to deploy it to open the cluster directly without any Docker command itself. Okay, I'm going to open new terminal window on my local. And then I'm going to change my uh, project and then just to make sure every, uh, my project is just the right place to Kafka dash HPA namespace. And I'm going to use a Quarks build command line, which he, uh, will packaging application as a fresh start first. And then uh, we're going to packaging this application as a container based on OpenJDK 11 and the actual fresh jar. 
The last thing is we're going to uh, push this image into container registry, which is already in used inside OpenShift cluster. You can also push it into external container registry, such as Docker registry, or Google registry, or the Quay.io. And then once the image is pushed into container registry in OpenShift, it will uh, pull down a variable worker node based on Kubernetes orchestration capability. Okay, just build is completed. I'm going to go in back to my OpenShift web console. In my application, Quarkus is already running. When you go to uh, check it out, our view logs, and then the Quarkus showcased uh, the application already enabled my, my copy on the Kafka thing. When you check the Quarkus application, as you can see, there's no auto scaling setting at this moment. So, which means I can scale uh, up and down manually when you click on the up and down arrow on the developer uh, console. So in order to set auto scale, I'm going to go back to terminal window and I'm going to use OC command line, OC auto scale uh, with my deployment config or the minimum one and the max 10. You can actually set it or whatever you need. And CPU percent for the utilization, the criteria when this application will be auto scale, uh, the based on resource utilization, which is 75%, which is totally makes sense for in production uh, environment as well. All right, the seventy-five percent, and I just return it, and then when you go back to a developer UI, and then you can see this part uh, change it to auto scaling computer. So last thing, I'm gonna add like a hit the load into Kafka copy. So here's a quick YAML file. I'm gonna use uh, the Kafka project or proper test batch script, which is already existing in Kafka server. And then here is the five uh, compilation, which means that we, we're going to create a, uh, five apart at the same time. And then here is my bootstrap server and the record size is 1,000. And then you can see number of records on million, which means above a million uh, messaging generated and sent to Kafka topic. And then that topic of uh, messaging will be consumed by Quarkus application based on the Quarkus Kafka. All right. Looks good. I just copy a whole YAML file and then go back to OpenShift the Develop Console and click on uh, editing YAML uh, UI and then paste it and then just uh, create that thing. And now Kafka job just uh, started and there are five files. When you click on, uh, try to take a look at the logs and you can see the dummy records just uh, send it and generate it in the Kafka topic every single second. And you can see another Kafka register, you can see the multiple messaging just generated and it will be consumed by Quarkus application. When you go to Quarkus runtime in logs, you'll find a lot of the event is consuming on Quarkus application. It takes some time by HPA that recognize uh, when actually this application should be auto scale because when you go to observe to the mess the metrics, you can see the Kafka, the server is already uh, spike the resources uh, utilization, which means there are five million messaging keep generating. On the other side, the actual the Quarkus application, like a green line, still uh, some kind of gap to recognize that processing utilization. So this implicated for event-driven application, actually you need to detect instantly the messaging incoming network traffic rather than the CPU and memory realization on the actual application. So with that HPA, it takes some time to auto scale the actual Quarkus application in that case. So when you go to the topology view again, the Quarkus application is still just one part, which means we're gonna take some time. Uh, if you can see auto scale the application by HPA, so in the meantime, let's go back to HPA object here. The target 75% and we just ran it in the OC command line. But the current utilization is none, which means that there are some time to aggregate metrics for HPA and the HPA will in the end auto scale our Quarkus application based on the CPU utilization regardless of there are thousands of uh, events from Kafka top. Okay, so let's take some time to scale this application. In the meantime, 
as you can see, the Kafka uh, producer is already completed jobs, which means the, it may be too late to auto scale the application. Oh, uh, now our Quarkus application is scaled by all HPA. Uh, and you can see there are four uh, parts just auto scaled, but it's, the job is already done. And they keep auto scaling, which means your end user maybe feel like a latency auto scaling because it's not perfect design for the auto scaling architecture for event driven application. Now we got a 10 application part, uh, but the, the messaging is already done to send maybe 5 million event messaging to Kafka topic. And then the application keep trying consuming from the Kafka topic of 5 million messaging. This is a first use case of how to design auto scaling for event driven application with HPA on Kubernetes default capability, specifically Kafka serves. But this is not actual event driven auto scaling. I'm going to really be spoiled for the next use case. So we're going to try to use data Kubernetes event driven auto scaling for the Kafka server for event driven application. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.